What is up, guys? Jake here from the channel Lego and War with a Lego Summer 2016 Nexonite set. Set number is 70319. This is Macy's Thunder Maze. It has three minifigures, 202 pieces, and it retails for $20 here in the United States. So here is the box of the set. So it's got a pretty cool box as well. And you get two instruction manuals with this set. The second one is pretty interesting, which shows the summer wave of next tonight's set, except this one. This one is from early on, the Fortrex, which is a set I already reviewed. I still think it's a fantastic set. So let's start off with the minifigures, and first up we have Macy Halbert, and she has her Nexo Power, which is Bomb Blast, and uh, this is the cheapest way to get this version of Macy, which also appears in Jestro's Volcano Lair and Beastmaster's Chaos Chariot. She does have this nice mace piece you can see here with um, a flick missile part and the new pyramid pieces in that trans neon reddish orange. There's her shield, you can see she has the red color and she has that red plume part. There is her face with the helmet off. And a better look at her armor. So you can see Macy is the dragon basically, which is pretty cool. And there is the back print and her alternate face. She has a little bit of scuff marks on her, which is pretty cool. And there is Macy. And next up we have Macy's Squirebot, which is exclusive to this set. And you can see it has the nice printed tile on him. Or her. And has the sword inside. There's the face underneath. Has that goofy grin. And then there's the alternate normal face. So as you guys know, the Squirebots in the TV show are not that bright of characters in general. And of course, one of them we know is uh, Dennis, which is Lance's. And then we also get our lava monster here. It is a crust smasher. And it does have the armor piece from Ninjago in black. And it has that old style helmet. It has two swords in this hand. It's the front and back. Here's the face. And there is the back of it as well. So let's take a look at her at the Thunder Mace. So you can see the design on it is actually pretty cool. I do like the design on it. One thing you'll definitely see is this part right here. This is a brand new part for summer 2016. It is a like a triangular piece. As you can see, it ends right there. We do get some stickers in the set. You can see the designs on here are stickers. And there is the nice windscreen piece there. And a place to put Macy's Squirebot. And what you can do is you can put... We're going to put the Squirebot over here. And what you can do is you can put Macy right on her vehicle right here. And she can sit comfortably right there. And what you can do is you can put, you can see over here on the side you have some clips. Which you can put her weapons on. Which I really love about the next Night's line. They actually put like stuff where you can put the weapons, which I really like. And what's another interesting function is you can see we have the nice trans neon reddish orange. And then you have this little thruster in the back, which if you turn on this, it reveals um, some stud shooters, multi-stud shooters. And it has, you get actually a lot of extras of them. So we're going to try to shoot them out. And you can then turn them with this gear, as you can see right there. Oh, and we got him, I think. Or it was my hand. I'm not sure. But, of course, then you can also hide it. So you just turn it like this. Which I really do like that function. It really works smoothly. And, yeah. Just a pretty small but pretty good set overall. And, overall, um, Macy's Thunder Mace is definitely a pretty good set. So, overall, my thoughts on this one. It's definitely a good set for $20. And um, you do get a good pe amount of pieces. Not to mention, you do get Macy in a cheaper way, which is pretty cool too. Um, and it's also the only way to get the Squire Bot for Macy. And just overall, I mean, you know, it, there's really not much else to say. It's definitely a pretty good set, though. Um, not one of my favorites, though, of this of this um, summer wave. 
but it's definitely, you know, a good set regardless, because I do collect all the next night's sets regardless. I still think it's a pretty decent set regardless. Let me guys hear your thoughts on this set down below in the comments, and subscribe for more videos. So thanks for watching.